form it up as myself Gaurav Das and I am going to continue my discussion with Box Studio IC Marison. Today we are going to discuss on the topic of chirality and the various types leading to optical activity. Now what exactly is chirality? Very simple line definition of chirality is chirality is something that in which isomers are non-superimposable against mirror image. Now suppose what I mean by non-superimposable and mirror image. We have discussed this earlier but I am going to recap, quick recap on this. Suppose we have something like this where we have carbon attached to four different groups A, B, C and D. So if we have a mirror over here, we clearly show a mirror image that will be something like this. Now this we will take this up and impose this on this. This is clearly non-superimposable. So when we have four different groups around a single carbon atom, this gives rise to chirality or finally which gives rise to optical idea, optical activity. Now compounds like this are known as chiral. Suppose this, suppose we replace this G by another similar group like B. Now this becomes an achiral compound. This is not chiral because it is having, if you see the mirror image of this, this mirror image is superimposable on each other. So this compound is actually achiral. This for example we have discussed just now is an example of compounds having chiral center. What is a chiral center? Chiral center is actually responsible for chirality. Chiral center is also known as asymmetric center. What is actually an asymmetric center? Asymmetric center is nothing but when you have a carbon atom that has to four different groups. One suppose a methyl group, a hydrogen, a suppose a carboxylic acid, suppose an halide. When you have suppose this carbon has to four different groups. So that carbon is actually, suppose let me draw this over here. When we have suppose a methyl group, suppose a bromide group, suppose a carboxylic acid group, and a hydrogen. This carbon that we see over here is actually a chiral carbon that will be known by this star over here. This represents a chirality in this center because it is having a non-superimposable middle image. This is actually responsible for optical activity. Now, many people have a misconception that chirality can only be due to asymmetric center. Remember, now don't confuse with these two terms of chirality and chiral center and asymmetric center. I think we have clearly differentiated what is chirality and what is asymmetric center. Asymmetric center is actually responsible for chirality. Now, this is an example of carbon having an asymmetric center, which is actually responsible for chirality. Now, now people you know, only think that asymmetric center is only responsible for chirality. But however, chirality can also be due to chiral axis and chiral plane. We will discuss these topics now. What is actually chiral axis? Chiral axis is seen in compounds like biphenyls, seen in compounds like elements, seen in compounds like spider compounds. We will have a classic example and discuss about biphenyls. What is actually happens over here? Now, now as you see, because of center chiral is actually rising. In this case, because of an axis, this is an axis, suppose this axis that we see over here, this along this axis there is a desymmetric grouping of atoms that we see over here. If this grouping of atoms over here actually creates a chirality and this actually turns above the plane. We have discussed this before, the pole arrow is actually above the plane and this actually turns above the plane. So this actually results this biphenyl class of compounds actually represent a classical example of chiral axis. Now, how do you assign nomenclature to the chiral axis compounds? Like, how do you assign this an S compound or an R compound? We are discussing detail about this right now. Okay. Now, we have understood about how this is an axis. Around this axis, there is group, this symmetric grouping of atoms resulting in chirality. Now, now we, we view this compound. Suppose we have viewer and I over here. This is nothing but an I open drawing. Okay, so we read the, view the compound from below. From below. Now we have viewed the compound from below. We now draw this picture protection that we have already drawn. We are we can also draw the RS we have already discussed in the previous videos. Now for this, we will, when the I viewer sees this from this, we now use the sequence rule, the sequence rule and number it according to their atomic number. Now you take first these two groups. When the viewer sees this from below, he first sees this first two groups 
these two groups in the beginning. So this is on the right. So we numbered this as one. This is on the left. We know we know that C four four H this group is having a better priority as of age. So on the basis of the priority rules, this C four H is getting priority one. This is getting priority two. Now, now this we have to number this two. For numbering this two, we draw this line. The Fisher projection that we already have discussed. This line, uh, now on this, based on this line, we have over here a nitro group and a hydro hydrogen over here. The nitro group is definitely having the nitrogen on, on a, is definitely having a higher atomic number. So this gets three, and this gets four. This three is actually placed over here, and this four is actually placed over here. So now we have actually drawn our Fisher projection formula from where we can give the RS nomenclature. You clearly understand now. This actually, this four is actually we can project this four away from us. This is in the vertical plane. This is clearly goes in this clockwise direction, and this is actually R. Clockwise is R. We already discussed this. So we, are, we can now name this bifinite compound in this class as R. Now we have a homework to do for yourself and post it in my comment box where we have um, similar bifinite compound that have different groups. So here we have a C carboxyl acid group, a nitro group, and a bromide group, and a hydrogen group. So we try this example out and give the answer. Okay. Now we come to another example. This is chiral plane. This is very very specific example that she made very less compounds. Uh, so this is another example. This clear is off. Clear is clear. This is too clear to you. Okay. Okay. This is an example that I have shown of chiral plane. Very classical example. This is actually a bridged aromatic. You see over here. This is a benzene ring attached to oxygen over here and attached to actually CH two CH two O six and another CH two over here. So we actually have actually eight eight carbon and octyl group actually attached. To this benzene group, benzene. Uh, so this is actually presenting a bridged aromatic. So now what actually happens is that suppose this bromine is not here. This benzene that you see over here, this lies on a single plane. This this benzene we know is planar. So this is having a perpendicular plane of symmetry. This is benzene is planar. So this is having so consider benzene to be planar. Just now you attach this Br over here. This Br actually what happens is Br destroys this plane of symmetry of benzene. Benzene's plane of symmetry is destroyed by this Br atom, and this Br atom is actually responsible for giving, imposing chirality on this chiral planes. So now we are assigning nomenclature for this type of bridge aromatics or chiral plane. How do we assign nomenclature? RMS configuration to this type of atoms. Okay, this is pretty simple. This first, what we have to do over here is to assign a pilot atom. This, this we choose the pilot atom. Why this is chosen? Now, the classic definition of pilot atom. Pilot atom is that atom that is not in the plane. This is not in the plane, and this is that atom. We see over here, benzene is a plane. This is actually above the plane. The CH2, this is a bold arrow that we see over here. The CH2 is above the plane. So, this pilot atom is actually the atom from where we view the molecule. From where this, this is the I over here. The I we had drawn earlier. This is this is where the, uh, the viewer's eye is kept. This is where the CH2 is from, where the viewer views the molecule. And now, we, from the molecule, you view this whole, whole this CH2 group, you view the whole molecule. Now, we follow the sequence rule. However, the sequence rule application is slightly different here. What we exactly do is follow a trace of path. We do a path of the reaction. From this now, if you trace a path over here, this oxygen that we see gets A. Now this uh, uh, this we want to place a path from oxygen. The next atom we encounter is this. This will definitely be B. Now when you are tracing a path, we follow the sequence rule. Now we have a uh, choice to make from B. Whether this will be C or this will be C. Now definitely this path is attached to a bromine. We follow the sequence rule here. Now this will definitely be preferred over this path. Now now you understand how this is. A little bit different from normal sequence rules that we have studied for RS nomenclature. So this will definitely be C. Now uh, there is another choice over here, either this D or this D. Definitely bromine is having a higher atomic number than carbon. This is a D. So our path we have traced is something like this. This is nothing like this. You can understand over there. This is an, again a clockwise rotation. So this is again an R component. So this chiral axis again an R component. So, whatever the sum of 
some things, what I want to tell is tidality uh, is something that is non superimposable over the middle image. Simple line definition compounds with non superimposable over the middle image. Many people wrongly think that chirality can only be due to asymmetric center, that already been discussed over here. However, chirality can also be due to chiral axis or a chiral plane. Chiral axis examples are like bifinines, alleles, spiral compounds, and chiral planes are like twist aromatics. Some alleles also can exhibit, some cyclic alleles can also exhibit chiral planes. Thank you. This is on the next next video for more, more details and more details on students. Thank you.